EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Cleveland Browns taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Charles and I have been looking forward to this one all week and we are underway from AT&T Stadium. From his end zone, it's Demetric Felton. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Looking to throw right away is Watson. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Second and 10. Now Watson. Rolling to his right. And he wisely will throw that one away. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Out of the gun, Watson. And that's going to be incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. So still a scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. They will indeed snap it to Watson. He's going to look deep for more. And this one is incomplete. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. A first down throw for Prescott. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Here's second and ten. The first carry now for Tony Pollard. And a hard work and run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. So from the 17 now, here's a first and ten. Looking to throw, Prescott. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. With how the coverage was positioned, up was about the only spot the quarterback had to try and deliver that pass. Just put a little too much height on it, incomplete. Ready, now ready. a second and ten. Black shot. Bam. Here's Lance to throw it. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Lance looking to throw it. Ah, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Ah, oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. And his kick is good. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. So a pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope that good things are in store here today for them. Here comes Felton to bring it out of the end zone. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. 
Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. They run it again with Chubb, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Watson now to throw. Flush to his right. Fighting him off. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Deshaun Watson so multidimensional, able to scramble for the first. Hey, no time out. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He'll get this to Bell. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Watson. Got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little gain. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Here's Watson. Oh, and that'll be incomplete. Oh, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. To throw is Watson. Eluding the pressure right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. That's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I think it. you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. The clock running here, under a minute to go now in the first quarter of a 3-0 game. Now a first down throw, Watson flushed out right. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll just get rid of it. Well, what looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Throwing on third down, Watson. And that will be incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. Here's Watson. He'll buy some time right. Oh, hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. The Browns unable to move the chains on fourth down. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Meanwhile, this one knocked down in the backfield. It's incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. On second down, Prescott again. Able to hit his target, Lamb. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. 
And that is incomplete. Well, obviously searching for their first touchdown this game, partner, and that quick three and out, that's not going to achieve that at all. Give victory to the secondary there. They brought out tight coverage on that third down snap. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down. They needed three. They got six. Plenty enough for the conversion on fourth. Here's Prescott. Left side to Lamb. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Hey, 47. Here we go, going to 54. Why is Why is it? Prescott now from the 50. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well Here done. Hey, hey, kill, kill. Kill, kill. What is it? And again, it's Prescott. His throw incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Throwing again, Prescott on second and 10. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. They're going to 53. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Looking downfield for Pollard. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Tony Pollard, 38 yards. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Well, that's what I call an answer right there. They gave up a sack on the previous play. How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah, without a doubt, because give up the sack on the previous play, that just hurts those guys because they never want to see their guy get hit. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead grows to 10 0. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Here comes Felton to bring it out of the end zone. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12 yard line. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And on the last drive. They were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, hey, not field nothing, goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit if they're in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. Hey, 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 a shotgun snap for Watson. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That one covers 29 yards, first down. Back to throw, Watson. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. The game clock setting at 2.02, so they'll get one play before the two-minute warning. They go quickly here out to Moore. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. Third and eight. Again, it's Watson. That is caught. Touchdown. Elijah Moore, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Browns have cut it back within a score. Extra point by York is up and good. And that'll cut it to three at 10-7.
York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Now that should give him a spark. He's across the 40 to the 43. Any return that gets you to midfield is a great return. One first down, and you're almost in field goal position. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. 46, 46, 46. Second down, Prescott. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Dalvin Tomlinson coming right up the gut. Gets in there for a loss of nine. Third and long for Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. It's a 15-yard pickup, but it'll lead to a fourth down. They're indeed going for it. It's Prescott. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Juan Thornhill. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. Certainly feels like the classic second guess, but let's be honest about it. They had a chance going to halftime with the lead. Why did they take a chance with a throw there? I don't understand that. Well, that's what I'm wondering. And now this defense has to try to protect that lead going into the locker room. Forced out to his left. And this one incomplete. Threw it down at the feet of his receiver. That's tremendous field position that they were given following the turnover, but they've still got work to do to get to field goal range, and the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make it easy. On second down, here's Watson. He's got the connection to Moore, and he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. A gain there of 30 big ones. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. They set up the screen to Chubb. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. Watson going to try and run it. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. They'll come up now third and three. Out of the gun, Watson. Flush to his right. And he's just going to throw this one out of bounds here. Nowhere to go with it. Incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks. Touchdown, Browns! Jordan Akins in the final seconds of the first half. And the Browns have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Extra point by York is up and good. And the lead is now 14 to 10. Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he returns this to the 22. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And they'll have time for one play. That's it. Three seconds to go before intermission. Final play of the half. Prescott. That is incomplete. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. 
It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. This fielded right at the goal line. Now a hit and a loose football, and they will take over at the 26-yard line. Hey, Pilly, nine. On first and ten, Watson. And this ball incomplete. Uh, looked very much to be a catchable ball. He could not hang on. Second down Let's coming up. Hey, hey, we got to snap it. Here's Watson. And that is taken in by Njoku. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. Now it's Watson. Buying time to his left. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Deshaun Watson. A nine-yard touchdown run as his guys are able. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. It's a wobbler, and it's intercepted. <laughs> York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Here we go, kill, kill. Here we go. First down, Prescott. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Prescott now on second down. And he'll go right back to Lamb. And Lamb going to have a Cowboys first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. Prescott looks to throw on first. This one thrown deep for Schoonmaker. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Cowboys. Luke Schoonmaker, 64 yards. And the Cowboys are back within a score. Extra point was hooking, but he does make it through. And the lead is down to a field goal. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Here comes Felton to bring it out of the end zone. Unable to corral him, he fights through. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The Browns drive about to get started. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and 10. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Watson, off play action. Now he'll take a shot for Peoples-Jones. And incomplete on the deep ball. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Here's Watson now on second down. This will be caught downfield by Moore. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 23 yards the pick up there. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and then runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time. To a wild throw there, and it is intercepted. 
picked off by Jordan Lewis. And the Cowboys are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and ten. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. A good action to this point in the third quarter, just a three-point game, second and ten. Now Prescott. He's got a man complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. Prescott now. And that is incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Dallas, Texas is the spot. Third quarter inside AT&T Stadium. Glad you're with us. Second and 10. And again, it's Prescott. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 42. Now Prescott. Looking downfield for Pollard. Oh, and that is incomplete. I've got a good friend in football who always talks about predictive history. He's got one of their two touchdowns. You can understand why they tried to find him again. Weren't able to connect, but the thought, that was good. The 20, down to the 10. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys have retaken a third quarter lead. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone, I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass, let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground and he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Point after, right down the middle. And that will make this a four point game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Here comes Felton to bring it out of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Cleveland offense ready to go. Not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense, gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Here's Watson. Out to the left, he's got his tight end, Akins. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They go up the middle with Chubb. And nothing much materializing there on the first down hey, run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Faking the give. Now Watson. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. And another long drive from the offense, but the defense is denying them the end zone. Nothing to show for the last drive offensively. They can't come away empty-handed again. In motion, there goes Bell. Oh, 
Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That pass complete to Moore. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. From the red zone now, Watson eluding the pressure right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. He'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Throwing on third down, Watson. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Osa Odegizua with the effort there to earn the sack. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage. At that time, they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time, it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first. Touchdown! Deshaun Watson on target to David Njoku. And the Browns answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. Extra point by York is up and good. And that gives him a three-point lead. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. It got his man complete. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. This play is a thing of beauty when it works as designed because they let the running back slip out of the backfield and head down the sideline on a wheel route. Number one, it's easy for him to get lost. And number two, really tough for the linebacker to run with him. And this ball's right on the money and leads to a big play. Let's get this thing started. Hey, kill, kill. Kill, kill. 47. Here we go, 47. Second down, Prescott. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked off by Greg Newsom. And the Browns have just about sewn up this football game. The Browns drive about to get started. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Dancing to his left. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, here's a classic second guess. I thought he had a better chance of a positive play if he just ran it himself. The coverage downfield was really good. That one falls incomplete. And Watson's going to throw it here. Going up top. And, oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. Well, they had that one sniffed out defensively. That's a tough one to connect on when you've got multiple defenders in the area and it winds up incomplete. Watson. Flushed out right. 
Things started a little slow for him as a runner, but he has really found a different gear here in this second half. He's been more aggressive, challenging the defense when he sees an opportunity, and now he has a 100-yard game to show for it. He'll fire deep, looking for more. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Oh, man, late in the tight ball game, every play so critical, you feel like you've got to find a way to come up with that football. That was put in a great spot, but it just didn't want to stick in his hands. That's a big letdown. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Watson now to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. 24! They will indeed snap it to Watson. Oh, he had to force it there on fourth down, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. Oh, my, how the tables have turned now. They were trying to salt this one away, but that interception, potentially a game-changer. And I've just got to think to myself, at this point of the game, I know you've been aggressive. I know that's your M.O., and that's fine. And all those teams that talk about all gas, no breaks, you better have the emergency. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. touchdown. Let's go. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. And my friend, drama, 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 as they get the lead here in. Get up out of here. Game over. Leave. It's over. I got big nuts. Static fashion in the final moments of this one. The only way they can win, find a way into the end zone as the time was dwindling. Defense knew it. Good, it still could Good game, though. Good game. Rights. And it would appear, barring some late heroics, they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. That's how we do it on Madden 24. That's how I'm coming. No chance on the other side that they were going to let him navigate all the way to the end zone, Charles. And that ends up being the final play in this one. Yeah, you're right about that. Special teams coaches, they spend a lot of time working on these types of situations. And they go over every crazy possibility that can happen in this situation they were able to cover successfully and end the game so that'll do it for us for charles davis and all our crew i'm brandon gordon you've been watching the nfl on